In today's video, I'm going to show you two different ways how you can attach a patch to a denim jacket and it's going to be by hand as well as on machine. Hi, my name is Matilda and welcome back to Miss Matty, the channel where we talk all about how to figure out how to live an awesome sustainable life, sewing, DIYs, upcycling and all that good stuff. And if that's something that interests you, please hit that subscribe button. In today's video, I'm going to show you two different ways how you can attach a patch to a denim jacket and it's going to be by hand as well as on machine and in a short moment. I will explain to you why you might want to do the different techniques. But first of all, I just want to say that this denim jacket I got at Value Village around two years ago. It was a really great find. It was hanging in the large section. It's not large, it says 16 inside. What they really mean is a size 16 kids. And then I have attached some patches to it. All these patches are made by my friend Jess the Walls. So I supported her Kickstarter campaign in 2015. So this is from that one. This is from her latest Kickstarter campaign and this one on the back it's from her Etsy shop so I will link her Etsy shop down below so if you're interested in getting any of these patches you can and then I have these lovely little pins from Crafty Pinup and I will link hers as well down below if you're interested in getting the same ones so my plan with this jacket is that I'm gonna embroider my own designs now onto this because even if I love Jess's designs I do want to have my own little touch to it as well so I'm gonna change out the buttons I'm gonna embroider things onto the jacket and uh, I'm gonna share with you in upcoming videos what I choose to embroider onto it. If you're interested in that and if you're not already subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button because you will not want to miss out those videos. All these patches were like iron-on patches expect this one but the thing is you want to make sure that your patches are attached securely to your jacket and this is what happens here you can see they get loosened after a while this one I ironed on last year and now I definitely need to stitch this in place to secure it. Today I'm gonna show you two different ways how to attach a patch and it totally depends on a few factors which ones you choose and this one I'm actually gonna attach both by hand and machine. So I'm gonna attach the leaves by hand and I'm gonna attach the flower petals by machine. In this case it is because the leaves are very like fine design and I don't want to have like a chunky stitch stitched around it. So I want a neat and fine finish. So that could be one factor that you might choose to stitch by hand instead of machine. Machine is of course preferable if you want speed or if you want to like create like I have done here on the cacti ovaries on the back that you want to create a more framed look. That is something you can create really easily with machine. Much easier than by hand because stitching so many stitches by hand is really hard on your hands. It takes forever. And then there's certain areas that are very very hard like this one here. This one here was the reason why I started to stitch it actually in place because I ironed it on but because it's located at the sleeve or like near the shoulder on my sleeve it started to go off really early so patches generally they don't attach very well when they're not flat because it's more like a bent area here I had to attach it by stitches this is all done by hand and it took absolutely ages but I'm so pleased with how it turned out and that just gave that very delicate nice look that matches the flower this one I also stitched by hand mainly because it is on the sleeve Sleeve, and it is a bit trickier to put inside the machine. And this one here, I've done both machine stitching as well as hand stitching. Hand stitch down here because if you do stitch here, you will attach this to the pocket opening underneath the flap, which we don't want. So that's another thing to consider when you decide which other two techniques to choose from. And then this took absolutely ages to stitch, so I was so tired. And I stitched this in place as well just the day before, so I. It was like let's just stitch this by machine that worked out really well because it was quite a solid color around here so it didn't look too chunky or anything it just looked like it was part of the design so that's things to consider when you decide shall I hand stitch or shall I use my machine I will first show you how to attach a patch using a sewing machine you will need to make sure you use the right needle for your project and as I'm attaching my patch to a denim jacket I will use denim sewing machine needles. 
I'm going to stitch around the flower part using blue matching thread. I set my machine to stitch a zigzag stitch and one and a half millimeter wide stitch and 0.5 millimeter in stitch length. I then put my jacket and my patch under the machine and position them at my starting point. Then slowly stitch around and pivot the patch and garment as you go. Make sure to stitch slightly over the edge but still mainly on the patch. Once you're done, make sure to fasten the threads and take off your work from your machine. As you can see, we have now stitched a pretty discreet stitch along the edge of the flower petals. Snip off any loose threads and now it's time to hand stitch the leaves in place. To hand stitch the leaves, I used a matching green thread, a thimble, you can either use a leather thimble or a metal one, and embroidery needles. You will also need embroidery scissors. I started by threading the needle with double thread and tied the two ends together at the bottom. Before starting, I made sure to put my thimble on because otherwise you will end up with very sore hands and I'm not at all speaking from experience here. Pull the needle into the patch so that the knot is in between the garment and your patch. Then rip stitch through both the garment and your patch, making sure to not to create any knots or tangles. I prevented too much tangling by having a shorter thread and then I fastened as I went along rather than risking a lot of tangles with a longer piece of thread. I've also heard that waxing your thread can prevent tangles as well. If you see any tangles that are about to occur, try to untangle as soon as possible to prevent messes and broken threads. Stitching by hand can be very time consuming and tiring for your hands so make sure to take regular breaks as you go. Fasten the thread by pulling the thread to the back and then make three knots. Then I pull the thread through the previous stitches and then after that I cut off any excess threads. And now the patch is securely attached. So there you have it. 
it's fully attached both by hand as well as machine and I'm sure there's loads of other ways how to attach a patch but this is the way I do it and I really hope it helped you if you did make sure to hit that like button and also let me know in the comment below which patch is it that you're touching and to what I would love to hear because I do love some good patches and until next time hey